Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and today we are going to fly the Flies and Wear Learjet 35 once again. We are currently on version 1.2.5 on this one and most importantly we do have the GTN XI Pro in there with a current NAV database and obviously also the Navigraph charts. So that does promise to become quite an exciting flight and we are also doing this one on Vatsim over here where we are flying on a Vatsim event between Nice and Geneva. Quick 35 minute flight in a beautiful little aircraft with that Learjet, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So follow me inside as we start preparing our aircraft. We're gonna start with a little bit of cabin preparation here, preparing for our passengers to arrive. And first thing for us to do is to open up all those window shades, and then a, just a very quick check through the cabin, making sure that everything is all right for our VIPs to arrive over here at our airplane. Right, that's looking good. Then over to the other end side. Quick look over there. The um, screen's, by the way, not operative at this moment, but knowing Fly Them Way, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll be able to watch live TV on them at one point. All right, so that much about checking our general cabin condition over here and things are looking all right for our passengers to arrive. Okay, so everything checked over here. Let's go ahead and go all the way up to the front where we can start calling for our passengers to arrive. So, the EFB, you are familiar with that one. I'm not going to go into many details over here. So, let's go ahead and load it up. We are going to take Mark, Rick, Alethea and Will today. All right, welcome aboard, my friends, and we're also going to take a suitcase and the duffel bag. All right, so with that done, we have plenty of fuel for our flight, nothing to worry about over here. And with that, we are pretty much done over here. So in terms of payload, we are going to leave everything pretty much as it is. All right, that looks good to me. So I'd say with that, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and stow that EFB once again, close up the door, and then we'll go ahead and prepare for our flight. All right, so bottom of the door, top of the door, where are our passengers? What's that? Did I forget to apply them? Something the likes? Yep, they should be here. Is there an option to turn the uh, visual models of the passengers off, maybe? No, doesn't seem to look like it. Well, that's strange, they used to be there. But well, we'll have to work off our imagination then. Let's go ahead, close up, and then we'll make our way. Right, so... That's closed over here, then let's go and get rid of that EFB, and off we go then. So, batteries, inverters, and we'll also go for the avionics master in the beginning. Rest of switches is basically to be off, and that's pretty much what it looks like. Alright, looking good. Then, thank you very much, licensed to me. Database, current, love it, really love it. All right then, so waypoint info, airport, Nice Côte d'Azur, frequencies. And Pause, system test, okay. We want an ATIS active. Just tell me that that's working, please. Well, interestingly enough, Watson got it to a different frequency, it seems. 129 is not 625. Well, here we go. Ceiling broken 3300. Temperature 14. 2.10. QNH 1019er. Confirm on first contact information, Papa received. Bonker. 
This is Nice Coat as our airport information Papa recorded at 1900 UTC. Expect our MPL for runway 04 left. Arrival runway 04 left. Departure runway 04 right. Departure of 7 Alpha. Transition level 60. Went calm. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Ceiling broken 3300. Temperature 14. 2.10. QNH 1019er. Confirm on first contact information Papa received. All right, so that's information Papa that we have on board. Uh, and let's go for our clearance. Departure for runway 04 right. Initial climb flight level 300 and squawk 1000 with a six six nine zero. Use delivery, bonjour, Jedi 70 information, Papa requests startup and clearance. Jedi 70, bonsoir, you are clear to Geneva runway 0 forward, Irmar 7 Alpha departure, Iniso Clavadol 130 on a scope 1000. Jedi 70 is cleared to Geneva runway 4 right, Irma 7 Alpha departure, climb flight level 130, score 1000. Jedi 70 is correct, report when ready for push and start back. Uh, uh, top six 2510, compact to gun 121, decimal 7. Alright, so climb in a flight level 130. That's set, then we've got a squawk of 1000, and with that squawk, it's especially important that we set the flight ID uh, correctly. Oh, yeah. So the Jedi 70 seven zero seven is going to go right in here. 121, decimal 705, right. top six 2510. Very cool, then let's go ahead and go for our pushback clearance. Or well, we might as well just do the route real quick, but I'll tell you what, before we run out of battery power over here, let's go for push and start. Jedi 70, request push back and start up. Um, Jedi 70, contact the ground 121, this mile 705. 121, this mile 705, Jedi 70, bye now. Uh, American 7, 47, Papa, Legend. 1 Top 6251, uh, good evening, uh, ready for push and start. And GSX can start preparing for push and start. Okay, so with all of that in progress, let's um, just give it a short moment here. So uh, QNH is 1019er. That is 2510. Yeah, 1019 equals 3012. Yep. So let's go ahead and dial that in on all the primary altimeters. Pushing back, prefacing enough is the top 6200. Here we go. East ground, bonjour, Jedi 70, request pushback and startup. Jedi 70, show ground, bonjour, startup approved, call me back for taxi. Startup approved and confirm we'll start on the stand and taxi straight out, Jedi 70. Uh, well, actually, no, Marie, you have to be towed, so uh, you know what, just to the uh, apron, can you call me back for taxi? Roger, towing onto the apron is approved and then we call you for taxi, Jedi 70. That is for uh, question and Alright, we'll uh, take that as standard pushback instruction here. Alpine That's just a um, sacrifice we gotta make for uh, uniform, sacrifice we gotta make for uh, Charlie, stand for six Charlie. Provided that this actually loads up. Uh, uniform Charlie, stand for six Charlie, Alpine 403, thanks. Did my GSX literally crash now? Not Ground again. On holding point alpha one of zero four left. Okay, we're still not pushed back. Uh, one three one five was alpha one to a one way decimal seven today. One one eight decimal seven delta one three. My toolbar pushback is gone. Okay, this is not my day today. So we GSX is losing it again. Come on, you can do it. There are I believe in you. Problems with new Phoenix, sorry. Okay, tell you what, I don't care, we'll start uh, up on stand. Are you ready for to push? I'm trying. Okay, beacon, nav light, and okay. then... Uh, just be sure, be okay, thrust leader, siren idle. Alright, start engine 2. Oh, so, and 2, and 1.
Uh, no, I can't uh, push. Uh, I can start the engines and do an 8, uh, uh, one eight turn. So it sounds like that Wizzair has problems with his GSX as well. Oh, why am I so not surprised? Okay, so looks like we've got a good start in engine number two then. Start proof course and you back for taxi with our five uniform Yankee, thank you. Then let's go for engine number one. That generator can come on. Holding the ultra trolley, I'll back for the low three. All good. All right, and two and one. Turn pulse four, speed bet seven zero Charlie Echo stand one eight. And all pressure. Push yourself. Seven zero Charlie Echo, push yourself. 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 And here we go. Number one is lighting up. Is it two? Top two. Sorry, top two two five one zero. Go ahead. Southwest, and you're back north of uh, So, this is another aircraft that you are looking the way on the top goal. So, Charlie, visit the back. We'll go again and exit at. Alright, then let's go. Easy, uh, top 6510, very much. Good spot. Easy, 3 0 and Trendy level 240 means Trendy. that we can yeah. leave our cabin pressure down at the uh, fuel elevation. We can leave it at 1000 and here we go. So the last thing that we have here is a door caution. Let's just see where that comes from. That thing does seem okay, to be locked. Okay, so Alpha 1 uh, left... Uh, is that it? Yes. Alright. Excellent. Top 6 to Alpha 1 Okay, we're good. Okay, so in that case... Alpha Four eight Alpha 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 Departure. Let's find that real quick. Here we go. Yamaha 7 Alpha. Full chart, please. Okay, so the Alpha departure just goes out to the right hand side, and that's it. Alright, happy with that? I'd say let's go for a taxi. What was going on in the background of that guy? <laughs> Suppose I better don't want to know. Right, well, it doesn't matter. We'll turn on the transponder and off we go. Okay, so steering can come on. Bye bye. Then I7 will request taxi A, will taxi straight out. Taxi one point alpha one four left via golf and uniform Jedi seven zero. All right, so that is going to be golf and uniform, and then alpha one okay, is one, full left. Right, All right, excellent. In that case, taxi lights coming on, clock uh, right going off, flaps going out. And straight out to the one eight one six after passing is the is the jet push back to push 
All right, gotta stay in front of that gentleman here. And in case you're wondering why I'm seeing a default model over here, that is because I decided to scrap all the AI models, be it FSLTL or AIG, because the performance impact with the Sim Update 15 beta is huge. And with huge, I mean I'm losing like almost all of my frames when I'm flying online. All right, so we gotta turn the next to the left. Well, this is still going over the stands. I don't care. We'll do it. All right, and on to uniform. And here we are. To be fair, that, that, that looked a bit like it was a taxiway, and according to the chartered ship, it first taxiway to the left, so I know that I technically uh, was supposed to probably go by a here, but those apron markings are a little strange. In the real world, you probably have gotten a martial art out, but, well, so be it. Okay, so then, we can go ahead and turn on the radar. We'll put a 10 mile range there. And then I'd say we've got pretty much everything set over here. Taxi Alpha 1, which is all the way to the end. This has a little bit of general aviation vibes, I gotta say. You're not 100% sure um, of the taxiway, it doesn't matter, just go left, right. That certainly sounds like general aviation. Uh, I like it. Uh, by Delta, Even though that's obviously not how we fly in the real world. Needless to say, that is it. Uh, holding point 4 left initially, to do a 7 0 Charlie Echo. Alright, so 180 knot buck for the initial maneuvering here. The aim is to get up as early as possible so that we can take a right hand turn across the mountain. American 747. Okay then, runway track is going to be a 043. Here we go, set. And there we're coming up on the um, taxi route. To, uh, yeah, no right to go. Okay, so one one eight is one seven hold up one jet I seven zero thank you very much, see ya. See ya. No, one one eight is one seven. East Tower Bonjour, Jedi seven zero, taxing alpha one. Jedi 7 Jones, tower 4, so from Alpha 1, cross runway 0 for left, and then uh, taxi only put runway 0 for right, via Whiskey, Whiskey 3. Alpha 1, cross 0 for left, taxi only point 0 for right, via Whiskey, Whiskey 3, Jedi 7 0. Okay, so clear the cross over here. Top lights on, clear right side. Okay, Whiskey 3 is. All the way full line, the second taxiway. From Whiskey 3, line up and wait, runway off right. Line up and wait on a 05, let's just keep on with the door. FedEx 47, Yankee Uniform, bienvenue à Nice, tournez à gauche sur Uniform. Okay, we're clear on the left side and clear on the right side. Second taxiway to the right. Tournez à gauche sur Uniform, la 04 gauche est dégagée par Fox 1 et après on passe avec le sol de Nice, 121, 19, 705. Air France 32 44 vent calme piste 04 gauche autorisé atterrissage autorisé atterrissage Air France 32 40 Okay so let's get the chart prepared Miss Tower good evening Lufthansa for That's looking good RNP Alpha 04 left Lufthansa 47 uh, Golf Miss Tower bonsoir number 2 continue approach runway 04 left Approaching uh, zero point. And we have crossed the runway, so I'm turning the lights back off again. 
Alright, so Whiskey 3 is the next one. There's nothing coming from the right hand side, so we are going to turn into here and go short. And here it is indeed, Whiskey 3 is coming. That guy is still standing there on the roadway. La 132 44, prévoyez roulage long ou si possible, dégagez la piste via Fox Unité. Ok, break set. Roulage long ou on dégage via euh, Unité. So, straight ahead for 20, and then it's going to be a right hand turn out. No track published in here. Let's see the chart real quick. Okay, for uh, caution, American 747 East Tower. Good evening, sir. From Alpha 1, cross runway 0 for left. Then taxi or link point uh, zero four right via whiskey. whiskey. Okay, so it's just going to be direct to my November zero four. Hello, seven. They're zero after course two zero nine. Right? All right. Oh, well, that looks about right. Two five one zero wind calm runway zero four uh, right. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Right. Maybe so one more check over here. Departure frequency is not on the chart. Okay. Well, so be it. We can live without. Infant 3244, merci beaucoup. Poursuivez le roulage gauche sur uniforme et continuez. So if I'm just checking um, the pilot client right now, they do have several possible departure frequencies. I have a feeling it's going to be 13083. Let's give it a try. All right, going to pre-select that. And then we'll just see what we can get. Golf wind camera number zero for left, clear to left. Number zero for left, clear to left. Right, so the, that guy is airborne. Time for us to line up. If we get the clearance. Good I seven zero, ready for departure. Taxi is 2510 passing 1560. Taxi 2510, contact departure 13830. 13830, alright, we're gonna remember that. Right, there comes the next arrival on the parallel runway, so technically speaking, nothing against us lining up. Okay, so something I always forget on this plane is that you actually gotta be rather careful with the trim here. American 747, are you able to depart from uh, Quebec 3? No, Line don't, uh, from don't take the American before us. Uh, Please don't. Sir, sir, question as we get full length. Yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, can you repeat it? I mean, I've got no idea why he's keeping us here. Can we just help him again? Today, 7 0, wind calm, runway 0 for right, clear for takeoff. Runway 0 for right, clear for takeoff, Charlie, 7 0. Uh, good evening, Speedbird 7 0, Charlie Echo, holding out for one. Speedbird 7 0, Charlie Echo, yeah, reverse the surround. Cross runway 0 for left, then taxi. Yeah, and truck prepare for the right by a whiskey. So, transponder on altitude. Uh, apologies, say again, I'm pleased to be seven seconds. Time is ready, then. Um, Charlie, go cross runway zero for left. On. Cross runway zero for left. Ready to go. Flaps are extended. Flight controls are working. Okay, timing and take off. Oh, that was a quick engine response. Uh, oh, Alright, now set, 100 knots. D1. Passing 420, starting the right hand turn. Track 126. Carrier 5-2 Yankee, Bonsoir, continue approach 0 for left. 
Right, continue accelerating to 50 knots. Thank you, another two. If you could send it to your chart, would you like us on uh, Big Tail Whiskey? No, we yes, use sorry, the power uh, a little I have, bit here. Uh, I was busy on the frequency, don't see traffic, uh, continue taxi, sorry, via Whiskey, and uh, hold Whiskey 3 line uh, from my way, 0 for right, sorry. Yeah, no worries, uh, continue taxi, Whiskey. Uh, Alright, beautiful time uh, rate. Really beautiful time rate. Delay 0, contact departure 130 decimal 830. 130 decimal 830, Jedi 707. Right then, right at turn, track 209. Archer Bonjour, Jedi Center, passing 5,000 pounds, I double one, three zero. Jedi Center, uh, hello, I don't find, but you can fly to level 172. I find level 170, Jedi Center. So two, two, five, one, two, two, five, two, 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 My plane is turning uh, too nicely here. Two, six, zero, four, higher. Look at how we just cut inside the turn. Two, Which is two, kind five, of one, strange. Two, we are flying more than 180 knots, so 25 degrees of light should do it. But we can look at that. Right then, next is going to be track 305. Three select that. Here we go. Okay, right, track 305 now. Let's do that. Versus are up. Order per engaged. Beautiful. Only that thing here isn't working. That's been another. Okay, and this time we're even flying the track. Super. I have to say my flying on the Learjet here is a little bit messy, but then again, I would absolutely not be surprised if it's rather similar for uh, most private Learjet owners, because they just don't get to fly that much. Alrighty. Yeehaw, love it. Really love the fidelity of this plane. Okay, so let's just bring it into a slightly, um, slightly normal little shape here. So we're going to turn on nav mode and we're going to go about 2,000 feet a minute. Vertical speed, I'll sell and autopilot on. Alrighty, that's looking good. So, passing the shoreline and we're in 30 kilometers. Uh, Alright, speed off. Bell for level 180. I'll say bonjour, Jedi 70, flight number 140, climbing 170. Jedi 70, Marseille Control, bonsoir, and flight number 240. Flight number 240, Jedi 70. And two other objectives. Five, uniform, box track, contact, and Geneva, the correction, contact, Swiss Raider, 124, is possible. Alright then, let's uh, go ahead with a quick selection on our flight plan. We still got to insert the entire arrival. I didn't bother doing that quite yet. Okay, so we have filed the Kinas 2 Romeo arrival. I'm not 100% sure if that's what we're actually going to get, but let's nonetheless insert it. So, Kinas 2 Romeo, where is it? Interesting. Oh, okay. Arrival from Nice. No, we don't want to do that. So, arrival airport, LSGG. Geneva. 
Minus two Romeo, that's good for that. Right, can we load that in? After here, Mount Aquinas, that is what we filed. Perfect. Alright, so cabin pressurization is looking good. Cabin altitude is staying down as it should. That is beautiful. Good rate of climb. I've taken away quite a bit of the power. You can see we're only running the turbines at 90%. We could run them quite a bit higher, but I just want to keep the temperatures down low because it is rather easy to um, put them into the over temperatures and certainly don't want to overheat them just yet. Okay, so that's looking very good. Um, we've got to turn the lights off, turn the seatbelt signs off. And the final thing down here. 21.5 Right, and we're going to turn on the monitoring on the sirens. Looking very good. I have to say the performance of the Learjet is just awesome. That climb performance and uh, the speeds it can achieve. I mean, we're only climbing it at 250 knots for the standard procedures, but once we're up, we're going to go up to 300 knots easily, and uh, that's really one of those things that I like that Learjet for. Now, obviously, for uh, passenger comfort, you do want to limit your rate of climbs a little bit, but as you've seen, really nice and agile to fly. I really like that. I really, really do. And it just looks awesome. I mean, it's a Learjet. You can see that in this Learjet, if you know what I mean. Beautiful, awesome airplane. Delta, Papa Kilo, direct speed and set flight level. Approaching. Check. Delta, Papa Kilo, direct speed and set 1 1 0. One of those things that I always look at flying this one. Good evening, Matelena. Good VAT, level 1900 inbound output. But we still haven't heard anything of the guy flying behind us. Probably flying the Abbas climbing along well, so. Hey, vertical speed. Turn those down a bit. Thousand feet a minute, hold on. Right, new speed target, gonna go up to 300 knots. That's going to be the challenge now, flying it at that speed without going into the other speed. Good thing is that those aircraft, back in the day, no fancy stuff like uh, ACAS and so that would report any exceedances to any operator, but we're the owner, we're the operator, so hey, I think 35 for 20% higher speeds than what we are going to fly, so if we just keep riding on the barber pole, you know, that's how they do it in general aviation. Obviously that's not the airline pilot sort of thing, and I'm never going to say that it is the safe sort of thing, but, you know, that's general aviation. That's what these guys do. Alright, the last thing is for us, set standard. There we go. I really feel like I'm flying general aviation here. You know, I'm a little bit behind the upland right now because it's not a plane that I'm flying very often. And that really shows. That really, really shows. In the real world, obviously, I'd never fly an airplane being here that I'm actually It's just a great lot of fun to do that. I don't know, it's so kind of has its charm, I suppose. Uh, well, for a simulator, simulator obviously. In the real world, no way. But but for a simulator, it happens. Okay, so, speeding up, approaching 300 knots. Let's see, what current speed are we doing now? 110. Nice. Well, oh, that's 10 knots to run, so in the end, probably going to be... Delta, Papa Kilo, contact Marseille, Europe, contact, please approach 1, 4, 
Right, so let's get a bit of that power out. About 85% or so should be good for what we want to do. The only thing that I'm missing this aircraft is a more precise speed indicator on the ADI, like you have, for example, with the um, BAE 146. That's something that I would really appreciate here. But I'm afraid that's not in our arsenal. So, here we are. Reaching cruise within 10 knots of our target speed. Obviously, that's uh, not the most ideal thing to do, but it's good enough for, um, it's good enough for uh, general aviation. Okay, so... Quick check of all our systems, making sure that everything is right. And that is looking okay, good. Okay, so cabin pressurization is good here as well. You can see we've got quite a uh, differential pressure but the cabin altitude is still down at sea level, which is one of those things that are just really great in the Allegiant. Did I 70260? Uh, any chance we can maybe go above or below it? Today, 70. Unfortunately, today uh, I can't make you going over another traffic due to uh, the, the lot of traffic going to be. Roger. Oh boy. So, you see, Colin, uh, my car is being activated. You can go higher. Uh, Alright, so 260 knots it is then. That is 2510, you can uh, speed up to 300 knots. Speed up uh, to 300 knots, uh, 250, sorry, to stop 250,000. Passing control, look up for 16 golf, inbound the body, descending flash of the Well, the top was just going faster now. But he hasn't said anything to us. Well, so be it. We'll get there eventually. Okay, 269. And here we go. I'm going to maintain the speed as best as possible, but obviously without auto thrust, it's not always that easy. So that looks just about right, I would say. Maybe a tiny bit more over here, something like that. I mean, that's about as precise as we can fly it. Okay, approaching here now, there are the wheels flying to Kines. That certainly does look right on the uh, map. Let's go to Charlie Echo, Charlie Echo. Right then, over the charts, Geneva. Let's see, My flight level 240, but Defense 7 Charlie Echo. Minus 2 Okay, 8 is 13558. Uh, Corsica 578 Fox Trot identified, clamp level 140, clear for storage, we're still going to go around. Cab OK. This is Geneva Information Lima at 1950. ILS approach runway 22. Let's forget the rest of the car. I'm sure it's perfect. I'm going to do a superior move. I can't do that. Let's forget the rest of the Temperature 14. Okay, so we're going to get to the So then let's go to the procedures for the road. Let's go to the Victor Alpha, contact the Victor Alpha, contact the Victor Alpha, contact the Victor Alpha, contact the Victor Alpha, 
Lift on the 16 Golf, send flight level okay, 110, one 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 and 224 two two is going to be the part of the approach course. Distance number 110 and contact approach 124 is going to Let's see, minimum 200 AGL. There's that around all. There it is, and 200 is pre-selected here already. Okay. So that's about all we can do in terms of preparation. One, two, four, Maybe the Cavanaugh's cute. 1,400 is field elevation. Set that in. That's it. One, two, four, this is about 55. Got a pre-selected frequency here as well. The die 70, you can speed up to uh, 3,000, uh, 300. Die 70, uh, we wish 3,300. Uh, we'll make it 300 knots. Thank you so much. The die 70, you can contact this radar 124, this is what we can do. 124, this is what we can do. Jedi 70, we'll see you on the wall. 383, contact. Alright, let's bring the power up. Love it. You just want 124. This radar will draw Jedi 70, flat number 240, increasing speed to 300 in Mount Kines. Multiple stations, scale on 1560, contact with radar 135, that's Mount 015. Alright, here's our 300 knots. 1350, can I move back to zero, bye-bye. Jump says 2510, this radar allow the anti fire clip, Kines to Romeo arrival, runway 22. Traffic getting the Kinas to Romeo as well. Can add, uh, That's exactly what we're expecting as well. Awesome. Jedi 7 0 Swiss Red, hello, identified, Clip Kinas to Romeo arrival, runway 2 2. Kinas to Romeo arrival, runway 2 2, Jedi 7 0. Alright, awesome. So that has cleared. We do have that in the box as well. It is Kinas to Romeo ILS 2 2. So then just a quick look at how the chart is. Sorry, five 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 nine three contact with red one three five that's more zero one five, goodbye. Uh, maybe we I just prepare the album chart five, as well. Five, five, nine, three, 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 three. It is. Okay, so in terms of the arrival, what do we have there? Kilos to Romeo. Well, that's not the right chart. This is three five in a fun fox no contact travel one three six that's more two five five, goodbye. This is it. Okay, so that's speed. We should make that a little bit more constant. Give me a bit more power. Okay, Kinas 2 Romeo, speed 250 below level 100 RS by ATC. No turn on to base unless cleared by ATC. Expect radar vectors to final approach. Elevation 1411, which we've dialed in already. And then. We look down here. No restriction on Kinas. Five nine two. Rock hard level. Okay. Valve above one hundred forty. Silver above one hundred zero. And I'd say if we're here at silver at one hundred zero, then we should be in a good state to um, start the approach. So let's use that for our. Clear path to free room. Your arrival budget higher zero two one. So. And uh, yeah, the the, I right. did not yet get the call sign out. Kilo Lima, Chile, Atlanta, 0 2 1, direct, go left. Okay, so three minutes till our top of descent. That was about right. And I'm just going to do one change to our flat plan here. Uh, let's see, we're going to that I do not want Subal above 110, but I want it at 110. That. Let's see if there's any change to our VNAV profile now. Nope, round about the same. Uh, kilo Lima Chile, 9021, turn right heading 320. Okay, that's awesome. Right 320, I just want And uh, you get back to the call lab afterwards. So, with that, I'd say we're pretty much uh, well prepared here. Ordered. As well prepared as it gets in general aviation, of course. Okay, 
Kilo Lima, Juliet, nine zero two one on navigation direct to Golab. All the navigation direct to Golab. Five hundred zero two one. And I understood class chat. Is that correct? That's correct. Never heard that before. No idea what that is. Uh, actually, top is. Two five one zero distance flight level one eight. Zero. Okay, uh, we've got our vertical speed required down here. Awesome. Two five one zero. We have opposite traffic here. Car, German zero two. Should hopefully not be too much of a problem. Distance flight level one eight. Zero. No, he That's is why he's zero. Zero two one. Zero zero two one. The, the six six seven speed two five zero not. See that on speed the two, two five zero not. Plus probably twenty one nine eight Charlie Sierra. Top says two five one zero speed two five zero not. But now we're past him. Three five zero at the uh, speed to come on here. Jedi seven zero speed two five zero not. Jedi seven zero speed two fifty. Oh man, once again. The six six seven contact arrival one three six. That's move two five five. Five one six two five five. Three six seven. Merci au revoir. Okay, that's the traffic is going to reduce our speed. Five one two six two. Vertical chat. Select that. A minute to go till we gotta go down. Top says two five one zero reduce speed further two zero a uh, correction two three zero knots. Reduce uh, speed to three zero at uh, two five uh, one zero. Jedi seven zero reduce speed two three zero knots draft to descent flight level one eight zero. Two three zero knots, descent flight level one eight zero, Jedi seven zero. Top two five one zero, descent flight level one six zero. Okay, flight level one six zero is selected. We get the speed down, and then we get the altitude down. What's our vertical speed required now? Eighteen hundred. Okay. Medical speed, I'll sell. There we go. Cluster at 9 0 2 1 uh, descent. Ah, uh, actually, this is a cut up for now. Stand by. Okay, that's And we need almost idle power in order to maintain that speed. So, top descent. to this 2510 stop descent, flight level 170. Ah, uh, that looks to work. Okay, rather. so confirm we voice uh, top speed descent. Yeah. Top descent flight level okay, one. Okay, fast on. Stop uh, one uh, one descent uh, top speed descent. Yeah. For our imaginary Class passengers. Class jet man zero two one descent flight level one six zero. Did they stop now? No. Okay. One six zero. Can you please stop? One six zero correct and uh, the, keep the best rate of descent. Take rate of descent for Kajit Nair 021. Okay, class Jet 9021, contact drive 136 decimal 255. Goodbye. 362. Class Jet 9021, contact drive 136 decimal 255. Right, that's pre-selected. Good. So, I'm a little bit quiet right now, I'm trying to focus on the overall situation. Class like jet nine zero two one first right. Contact nine zero two one. Contact arrival one three six decimal two five five. Interesting. You told them several times. One three six two five five. Contact nine zero two one. Thank well, you. Bye. Suppose a couple of things you just didn't have to understand. But so be it. We can absolutely live without that. Uh, well. So, 35 minutes was calculated flight time by a sim read. Let's see at what kind of flight time we end up eventually now. Certainly, probably going to be a little bit more than that. So, 
Zero descent flight level one six zero. Right, so we'll to check. We should take 1,500 feet a minute. Let's Top says 251, zero contact, arrival 136, that's not 255. Obviously, you gotta add a bit of thrust to make sure that we maintain our speed. Okay, we're just checking back to 120, smile, 305, top 251, just. 136 at decimal 255. Okay, we're just. So 136 is 555. Jedi 7 uh, 0 contact arrival, 136 decimal 255. Goodbye. 136 decimal 255, Jedi 7 0 minor. 10, Transition 10, level 8 zero. Wind two three zero degrees four nine. Cab OK. Temperature one four. Two point four. QNH one zero one five. The sun front of the moon. Geneva information line. Okay, information Bravo Lolo, Dread I seven zero flight level one eight zero seven one six zero speed two three zero one zero. Jedi 70, passing level 170, descending 160, speed 2301, information in now. Jedi 70, Geneva, arrival, I don't know. Jedi 70, hold it, go. Hold it, go, Jedi 70. Just tell me that's... That is the waypoint in 5 miles. Love it. We have standard holding here. Looks like it. Alright, load that up. I just gotta find a chart in order to verify that holding that we just inserted. Oh, that holding. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, so one six seven outbound. That means the inbound is um, three four seven. So three four seven right hand turn. Final two seven six seven. Head on. Kill them. Christian Clark, jet nine zero two one. Fly heading three one zero. That's just three one zero. That is actually what we put in. Hold three four seven inbound right hand turn. One minute thirty. That's all correct. Top fit two five one zero. Heading okay then, down to holding speed, one, two, one, zero knots. Okay, you didn't advise us about an EAT, that means it's got to be less than 20 one minutes. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, well, the timer is running. Open Bravo Uniform, turn right, heading 280, expect down delay to Looking quite beautiful though. Advice two one Fox here, expect for a climbing one. Set one minute for climbing in the right two one for the Class jet nine three two one speed two ten. So the class jet in front of us is actually getting in straight away. But that makes me think positive that we are only going to do one or two rounds of the holding and that that's the problem. Uh, I'm gonna need you to back me in here if you call him Bravo. Is he calling him a Bravo? So that's one of the cool things that I really like about the um, GTN trainer based products. I just went on a GoLab, selected holding, and it immediately pulled the published holding from the database. Can you repeat for budget manager here too? You know, if we get a holding on one, such a short notice by our traffic control, five miles two. before the waypoint, which is really, in the real world, I would have told him a couple of uh, lines for that. On Batsim, I don't care. But, you know, it's really cool that you can just hit the um, 
that you can just hit the uh, insert hold button and straight away it has the published holding available for you. That's one of those things for which I really love the uh, real world aviation trainer based product for because that's the fidelity that you get in real world avionics. Okay, so we're about passing next to GoLab. So, one minute 30 timer, so we're looking at uh, 32 minutes 40 seconds for our inbound turn. Always remember, regardless of how sophisticated your avionics are, you always want to keep an eye on um, if it's fine with the procedure correctly. Now, I'm 99.9% sure it will, but nonetheless, you know, it's uh, still good piloting that you do keep an eye on. So. Right, zero six zero, excellent, and budget on your zero two one. So remember, basic holding theory from your flight school, standard holdings to the um, left. Jedi seven zero turn right, right turn heading three hundred. Jedi seven zero right turn heading three hundred. Okay, heading. Of the Air Golf, uh, your number, let's see, ten, and hold the Bravo uniform number eleven. Sorry. All right, so we're already coming out of the holding. Easy going. Right, so exit hold. Charge at minus thirty two one comes yes. right three zero eight zero. Problem solved for now. Top six two five one zero. Let's one, see if we can use T cars in order to drop a picture of where right, the zero point zero is the T car on job. Well that's a couple of aircraft. Geneva Airlink 75. So that's an Edelweiss, not going to be much of our concern. And the others are gone. Okay. Johnny 75, sorry about that contact, we're saying 12465. Well, let's see if the others reappear on our TCAS. Can you take in the frequency for Airlink 75? 12465. I'm just going to keep my 210 knots, nice load speed for the Learjet, and uh, with everybody, uh, everybody some 5 minutes in front of us now, Actually, if he wants us to increase again, he will tell us. Hold the Bravo uniform left heading 225. Left heading 225. Classic Manager 2 1 final 12 0 3 0 5. That's going to be next for us as well. 2 0 Classic Manager 2 1 0 5. 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 Classic Manager 2 1 all right, so that's Genoa right Airport right, right over there. How about we do a visual approach straight in? Easy be so easy. Why is nobody here? Easy four seven 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 three two. And that's one three zero. Ah, because he's messing up the call sign. Okay. So top Swiss is the uh, Swiss. EasyJet, while Easy is called some of the British EasyJet. Yeah, if you do mess those two up, no surprise you're not getting an answer. But obviously the class jet is still... Right, listen to how long he's not reacting. Six for Lima Bravo, contact final, one, two, zero, three, zero, five. Oh well, ain't gonna be out, Bravo. So, top fit. Talking about ourselves, what is he going to do? I do bet he's going to put us straight ahead until we are close to the airport, then a 90 degree turn to the right, onto the down and then from there we're probably going to get Hamilton to the director, and um, he's going to factor us in somehow. I do suppose that's probably the likeliest thing for us to have right now. So, altitude is not going to be much of a problem. 
Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, 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 we'll
I'm just going to maintain that rate of descent now. With a bit of luck, we're going to make it a continuous descent approach, but if they really need us to turn in, we can do any moment. Learjet is such a great descender. You know, passengers, well, I've heard mixed stories actually from business jet passengers. Some told me that they found it really exciting when their pilots pulled off some stunts, like a straight in approach now from 11 miles out, while others were like, what the hell are you doing? So, stories available on either side there. But we'll see about it. Let's see what TCAS tells us. So, traffic. One guy over there, okay, so, okay, one guy over there. Both are descending, and one guy coming in over here. That's the top Swiss, 2510. So I believe that guy is going to go in first. Then probably that guy here is going to go in. What's that? Hotel Bravo uniform. Speed 228. Yeah, go ahead. We're doing 250, so he's already just doing about 170 knots. Uh, what about that guy? 226. Uh, well, we're we're going to keep an eye on that. What's the guy behind us? 300 knots. Same altitude. Where is he? Coming inside 6 miles. Interesting. That's really interesting. Really great opportunity here to put all our um, GTN functions to work. So that guy is getting a, an inbound turn now. We're passing 10,000. So those lights are going on, and those lights have been on all the time already. Perfect. But that's really great to put the GTN to test now. This 477, speed 180, are not so great. Uh, speed 170, are not so great. Lockfish A3 Papa Zulu, clear all of the approach, from a 22 report established. Just for the other support from a 22 report established. 1000 to go, also armed. But we gotta remember to put the thrust up. Jedi 7 0 turn left setting 310 for base. 310 for base, Jedi 7 0. Office 2510. Good, 310. Back to the nav map. Office 477. Okay, so he's coming in first. That's an easy jet, so that is definitely uh, five an Airbus. So we gotta be aware of weight of separation there. Because we're a light type. Did I 70 descend 6000 feet, QNH 1015? Did I 70 descend 6000 feet, QNH 1015? Interesting. When did I go? Did you say you have a balloon? I have to reach that again later. 
Speed. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Nate. One zero one five. Bidai seven zero ten left heading two five zero. Clear out of runway two two. Good established. Bidai seven zero ten left heading two five zero. Clear out of two two. Up to two five one zero. Your assigned speed is two one zero still Maintain one eight zero not so greater. One eight zero not so greater. Okay, so for arrival. We're following with light behind medium, that means we need 5 nautical miles of separation. Okay, right, load the laser assigned. Okay, we're going to load the laser assigned. So that guy over there, well, he's turning out, okay, so that is the next guy, some miles out. Or maybe that guy. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what he's going to do. Interestingly enough, it's not flying the assigned heading. Let's go to heading mode. Delta Bravo, Delta Bravo, uniform, final, good evening, descent 6,000 feet, unit 1015, and turn uh, right heading. Okay, I'll tell you what, the only thing that I care about right, is the traffic, so. so. There you go, that's it. Six miles out, in front of us, that's what's interesting. Up to 5110, speed 1, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Oh, that doesn't matter, we're going for the approach, so we are going to enter some cars up in a few moments anyway. Well, Bravo unit four, uh, left, heading on eight now. Left four eight, you have to go in front. Up to two five one zero, contact to the tower, one one eight, that's what's left. One one eight is my time, and it's the size for the delay, and uh, two by. This A3 Papa Zulu reduced to minimum speed. It is to minimum speed, but this A3 Papa Zulu. Okay, both guys going for minimum. Hotel Bravo Uniform, continue. That means the first plan of ATC did not work out. That's how it's going to be. Let's see about it. Hotel Bravo Uniform, the other Bravo Uniform is just getting turned out, it seems. We've got a guy directly on top of us. What's got Sierra Ball? Here okay, so let's see if Glasgow captures. Passing it now. Yes, it does. Of this A3 Papa Zulu, contact to the tower 118 at 07. Never tower 118 at 07. Papa Zulu, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, looking good. Shut up. Sorry, Shut up. 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 Roger. Okay, so speed slowly coming back. Hotel Bravo Uniform, descent 4000. No, flaps 8. Turn left heading 290, they're moving. Left 290, that's the one. Speed slowly coming back. Okay, there's traffic in front of us, but he is uh, about at 5 miles. The guy is flying 140 already. What's our ground speed? 180. So he's at about 5 miles. When he's getting... When he's getting closer than 5, then I am going to adjust reduce speed further. That's the gear warning, not a problem. That'll go away as soon as I'm decreasing thrust again. Okay, tell you what, get out. Yeah, I'll turn the light. He's sent to 6,000 feet, QNH 1015. Ah, 6,000, 
das ist schneller als Liga Das ist Der Dai 7 Zero reduced to minimum speed, I confirm, and contact tower 118 Der Dai 7 reduced to minimum, that can be 120 knots, and tower 118 is left heading 250, clear all of the Okay, 118 is about 7. So that actually sounds alright to me. Delta 2510, welcome, I think I turn one to one. Delta 520. Slowly coming back. Oh, down 120. Yeah, for the missed approach, in case we need it, initial time okay, 7000. Okay, flaps full. 1212, one, sorry, uh, sorry. Okay, so after all, ITC did a good job here. Okay, wait, so one two one one eight five five. So yeah. Give it all one zero. Jedi seven zero. I lost two two. You say eighty seven zero? I guess. I find the x 407 behind landing airport 320, line up on my two turns way behind. Behind the uh, landing aircraft. Okay, so uh, looking at the TCAS now, uh, exactly behind, five miles uh, to the preceding aircraft, so it's going to drop by our traffic control. I find the x 407 pretty much in the middle. I don't know. Okay, we're going to remember to locate to the left of the landing. And then autopilot. I did surely not expect that. Good thing that we didn't care too much about the fuel here. Good, take off half in the x ray for the return. Okay, so but if we came to the left, probably not gonna not gonna bother even asking for a long landing since there's traffic coming in. Does. And since there is more traffic at the only point, so we'll just the cage on the uh, first rapid exit taxiway to the left. Okay, that's not a light line. That was perfect. You got a two kilo tank at the LA. I think the X-ray for the sun could take it out at 119 at the sun. A little bit turbulent here. You can see what I'm doing with the control column. Thank you, baby. So it's a bit like pilot in use oscillation as well. You're always going left, right, right on. Right after one another, but you Okay. So, then let's make it a smooth one. Well, that was okay. Not perfect, but all we can ask for. That's too much reverse for my taste. Okay, reverse is off. Oh, 
Oh, next exit to the left, coming up in the front over there. So, steering is on. And off we go. One was Malay 55, Jedi 70, we'll see ya. April hello, Jedi 70. Jedi 70, Geneva Epsilon, hello. Gotta wait for the guy coming up over there. I guess thereafter it's gonna be our round. So, just to be sure, are we. Yes, we are. Jedi 70, take us to gate. Correction, taxi to stand 67 by Alpha. Stand 67 by Alpha, Jedi 67. Okay, so we still got a few moments. Here we go. So then, on the outer. Understand six seven gotta be to the uh, right, I suppose. Stop the two five papa, continue to Thank you. No oh, no, that's our own chart. That's it. Process two zero seven zero one taxi nine. Okay, interesting, that's not uh, where I expect my stand to be. Six, seven... Okay, right over here. We're actually in front of that already? Did I seven zero confirm six seven is to the left of us? Uh, seven zero, six seven is in front of you. Immediately in front, roger, Jedi seven zero. Okay, even easier. And the guy over there is waiting. Awesome. You're right for an easy Gemini X ray Fox Trot for clearance. You sound at X ray Fox Trot for clearance, contact ground 11680. Alright, here it is, 6 7. Toss is 2545, give way to Toss is A320, crossing right, left to right on our side. Giving way to the company A320 coming from left to right on our stop stop switch to five up. So this is uh, from the road, the Probably gonna go for stop two. Since we've got a pretty small aircraft here. And here it is. Six seven stop two. Here we go. Okay, parking brake is set, gonna turn all of that good stuff off and the ground steering off. the great event, see ya. Thanks for flying, see ya. Okay, so, shut down. Engines running down. Fines coming off. So, this 2070, contact tower 118, Hello, tower 118, Thanks for flying, good night. And that's everything off. Down here as well, perfect. So, welcome to Geneva. I do surely hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, do let me know in the comments below, and if you want me to fly more flights like this, then be sure to let me know as well. Surely it was a blast for me. Now, getting back to grips with the Learjet obviously did take a little bit of time here, but I do have a feeling that in the end we mastered it rather well for the approach, and obviously that's all that counts. So let's prepare the airplane again for a little sleep until we take it on to the next sector. Hopefully not going to be as much time as it was since we flew it for the last time here, but I do have to say that I do like to fly it every now and then. 
Alright, so with that, thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like in the in the comments down there as well. Let me know what you thought about this one and if you want me to do more flights like this. And finally, if you are really happy with these videos, don't forget to subscribe, as it does really help out the channel. So with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope that you have liked it. If you really, really love what I'm doing, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. But until then, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for flying, and i see you all again on the next one.